Okay, so what we want to look at with this lesson is um, all the different basic functions that are possible. Now, your brain may think that uh, it might start going crazy. There's, there's basic functions. Oh, no, how many? Well, 12. We're only going to ask you to understand and, and work with 12 basic functions. However, they can get pretty complicated. So let's talk about them right now. And you'll see right here <clears throat> that the most basic one is, is the identity function, the straight line. And we have studied this since forever. You, you are so familiar with these, you can crank them out left to right, not a big deal. The next one we're going to talk about is the squaring function. Now, that's the anything that's being squared, okay? So quadratics would fall into the squaring function category. And you've done a lot of stuff with quadratics. Um, we're going to work with these a little bit this year. We're going to work with these a little bit this year. But we're really going to study a lot of the cubing function items, which is the next guy over. We're really going to study uh, some absolute value. We're going to dig all into reciprocal, and we're going to really mess with square root. We're going to look at all these a lot. And you can see for these six functions right here what the domain and the range is uh, for all of these uh, different functions. Okay, so here's six of them. All right. Here's another six. Exponential growth, which we're going to talk a lot about. Basic logistic, which comes up a lot when you look at populations. Uh, the natural logarithmic function, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the natural log of things. Uh, the greatest integer function, <clears throat> this will be the function that we study the least. Of all the functions that we work with, this will be the one that we spend the least time with. However, it is probably the one function that you will deal more in life with. Anytime you look at a cell phone bill, uh, you're looking at the greatest integer function. When you get your text message plan, you're looking at the greatest integer function. So, uh, and then we're going to spend uh, two or three months talking about sine and co cosine functions. These are also really important, <clears throat> and the cool thing with these is that the range only goes from negative 1 to 1. You don't have to worry about any numbers outside of that. So these are your 12 basic functions in, um, in, the, in the rest of this section that we talk about today. And, and for the rest of the year, uh, the easier it is for you to recognize certain principles about these 12 basic functions, the easier your pre-calculus class will be.